Hi guys, it's Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi, Mark Zickery of Space Command, and many other things, including the Twilight Zone Companion. Uh, Rod Serling's 100th birthday is coming up on Christmas Day. Isn't that interesting? Uh, but we're not here to talk about any of those things. We will talk about those things very, very soon on future Mr. Sci-Fi um, uh, missives. And now also remember to subscribe, comment, ding the bell, you know, like, all that stuff. It all helps. We're trying to get onto the algorithm and uh, spread the spread the word. <laughs> but right now I'm going to talk about a movie I just saw, The Substance, starring Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley. Now, I first became aware of Margaret Qualley uh, when I saw her in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as uh, the hitchhiking Manson girl. And I thought she was so terrific and distinctive and inventive and just really, you know, from then on, I just kept an eye out for every everything she was doing. And uh, and she's very, very good in this movie, as is Demi Moore, Moore, who I've never been a particular fan of, but she really throws herself heart, soul, and body into this film. Now, first off, if you're not a fan of body horror, if David Cronenberg uh, doesn't ring your chimes, this is not the movie for you. This is about uh, a woman, a star who is aging, and uh, she has a chance to create a, a, essentially another her that's younger, beautiful, blah, 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 but they basically have to trade off alternate weeks. And again, in this way, I mean, it has a lot of callbacks to other other pieces of work. Uh, of course, the granddaddy of all of them is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by the wonderful Robert Louis Stevenson. And if you've, you've never read that, go out immediately and get a copy because it is a spectacular piece of work. And uh, if you've never seen the Frederick March, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that was directed by Ruben Mamoulian again, you would uh, do yourself a favor by checking it out. And, uh, but meantime, the, uh, with the substance, it's, you know, like Jekyll and Hyde, it's basically about supposedly some drug, some uh, f uh, technological wonder that can uh, make you into a better version of yourself, or at least separate you into two different selves. And, uh, you know, this has been done on any number of times, but clearly early on in this film, there's a, uh, you see a fly that's uh, drowning in water, in a cup of water, and that's clearly a nod to David Cronenberg's The Fly, which is one of the great body horror films of all time, of course. And uh, this also pays a, a lot of uh, homage to uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, and there's riffs from Kubrick in there, uh, both 2001 and The Shining. So, they clearly have their uh, mentors, teachers, artistic uh, idols, etc. Uh, you know, Dennis Quaid is, is very, very good as a loathsome network executive or network president. Uh, sort of one note, but still he does that note very well. Um, what I would say about the film is I enjoyed it. It's very, it's different. And that's a big deal in films nowadays because so many films are just kind of cookie cutter. You know, they're not written yet by AI, but they certainly could have been. And uh, I used to say they were written by chimps. But, um, but now, uh, but this film at least is trying to say something about body image, about self-hatred, about women as they get older, about uh, stardom, all sorts of stuff. And, and it doesn't exactly stick the landing. It kind of has a bunch of endings. Uh, but it's, um, for me, it was at least interesting, uh, fun in its strange, perverse way. And, uh, and w you know, well rendered. The director, the writer director is, has a very, very strong visual eye, you know, for shots. And also the, uh, the body horror stuff was well, well done if, uh, you know, gruesome, but, uh, so I guess my, my basic thing on, on this is it's not going to be one of my favorites. I'm not going to go watch it a whole bunch of times. But if you like this sort of thing, uh, go to it. It's, it's, it's well done. It's well done and, and gets increasingly uh, crazy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and, and it deals with a lot. That, it deals with a lot of issues related to media, related to how we present ourselves and how we externalize um, admiration, all of that. And, uh, and Demi Moore, Moore, she's playing someone who turns 50. She's actually 60, but she still looks just great, just great. And, uh, uh, and, and though in this movie she progressively looks um, worse and worse. And again, the, the thing about uh, Demi Moore and uh, Margaret Qualley in this film is, is they really go for it. They know what, what the point of the film is. They know what they're called upon to do, and they just do it 
you know, they throw themselves into it. And, and their level of commitment is really um, uh, impressive. You know, I think, I think they both worked very hard. I think, uh, I think they pulled off what they were setting out to do. So that's about it for now. We're going to talk a lot more very soon. But uh, if you have any subjects you want me to comment on or, or do Mr. Sci-Fi videos on, I will. I've been uh, uh, not posting quite as often as usual because we've been shooting and editing. And that took a lot of uh, my attention. So, <laughs> But we'll talk very, very soon. And thanks for everything, guys. Bye.